we brought this painting of a little boy from 1634 to Mark and Diana Roberts conservation studio so he can be brought back to life and shown in our displays in the Portland Collection Gallery at Welbeck. So we've just received this oil painting on panel and portrait of a young boy into the studio for conservation treatment. In its current condition, the painting is covered in a very significant layer of surface dirt. Below that, there's also a very heavily oxidised layer of natural resin varnish, uh, which is yellow-brown in appearance. So together, these really have darkened our impression of the image as a whole. It's also, as they're sitting in the interstices of the paint, the modelling and the impasto has been flattened and deadened by these two layers. We also um, have lost a very little bit of paint in the sitter's face due to flaking of the ground layers um, and paint layers above it. And we're also starting to see that there are some raised areas in the sitter's hair, um, which if left to continue could also result in some more flaking of paint layers. For us this is a really exciting project because this little boy who's so grimy and dirty and almost hidden um, I, I think it's going to be a really lovely painting. We don't know whether it is actually by Rembrandt or not, and it seems most likely that it was not in fact painted by Rembrandt, quite possibly by somebody in his studio or a number of Flemish artists who were known as followers of Rembrandt. So this is a significant programme of restoration and conservation, and we're really excited to see what happens when the little boy has been completed. Before undertaking conservation work on Portrait of a Boy, the painting presented quite a flat and ghostly image. It was uh, easy to make out the face and the light colour of the figure, but many of the other details were obscured by layers of varnish and dirt. Um, since removal of these layers, we've now gained a lot more information, such as the beautiful green of the jacket and its velvety texture and also the detail of the braiding on the shoulder and also down the front of the jacket have become much more apparent. I think that Sarah's conservation work shows quite how fine this painting actually is and our displays will offer all of our visitors the opportunity to come and have a look at it and see who they think the painter might have been. Other interesting technical details um, have also become more apparent such as the lovely use of the red underlayer throughout the hair and the face um, in the hair it's used as a mid-tone um, and then built up on top with uh, lovely strokes of yellow and overtones to create the curls of the hair um, with shadows also introduced to really create some depth and movement and also through the face little glimpses um, with then the main body of the face being built on top uh, highlights and also pinks for the rosy cheeks and little touches of impastoed white on the nose which really give a much more lively feel and a young boy.